Hi, and welcome to our video tutorials on HTML. In this video, I want to show you how to use a couple of HTML elements that a lot of people don't know about, the call group element and the call element, to define columns in an HTML data table so that you can format them using CSS. And you can see here my sample table, and I want to color the alternating columns differently. I want to color this one red, this blue, this green, and this yellow. And I want to have a dividing line in between each one of these columns. Now, to do this without these two HTML elements, call group and call, you would have to apply a class style to each individual cell in order to get that effect. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the HTML and right at the start of my table, I'm going to define my columns. And I'm going to do that by starting out by opening the call group element. And then within the call group element, I'm going to define the four columns. I'm going to start off by opening up one of my brackets and typing in the element call. And then I'm going to apply the class style that I want to use. Now, I haven't actually created those class styles yet, but I know what I want to call them, red, blue, green, and yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and at this point apply the class attribute and select red. So my first column is going to be colored in in red. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the next three columns. I'm just going to copy and paste that in there and just change the uh, name. Oops. And finally, yellow. So I've told the browser that a table is going to go here. And I've said this table has different columns. And I've defined the four columns and applied a class style to them within this grouping. Now, since I haven't um, created these class styles yet. When I look at this table, either in live view or in a browser window, I'm not going to see any difference. But now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go into the CSS and set up those four class styles. And you can see here I've already created a, a style for my table that sets the width and aligns the text in the center. And I've also put some padding on my cells by uh, using the group selector TH and TD. So now I'm going to go ahead and create the red class style. And that's going to go ahead and have a background color. And I'm going to go ahead and use the color picker here inside of Dreamweaver to go ahead and select a red and drag my brightness up. And so I'm just going to have a light red color in that style. And then I'm going to go ahead and do blue, do the exact same thing background color property and then I'm going to use the color picker to set a light shade of not purple but blue. So there's a light blue for me to use. Go ahead and close my style. We'll do two more green and again the background color and use the color picker and I'm going to select a light green color for that cell. And finally, the yellow style background color. Oops. And I'm going to select a light shade of yellow for that final column. So now I have my three class styles that each define a color for the column. And you can see here in my live view preview in Dreamweaver the way that's going to look. And I can go ahead and open this up in Chrome and again you're going to see the way that looks. Now you're going to notice that there's actually some white lines in between my columns and rows here. And this sort of gives it a gridded effect. And that may be what you want. But if you don't want this gridded effect 
the only way to get rid of that is to go into your CSS and apply two properties the background collapse property and the background, I'm sorry, the border collapse property and the border spacing property to the table. So I'm going to close that out and I'm going to come into my table style here and I'm going to go ahead and do border collapse and I'm going to select collapse as the value. And then I'm also going to do border spacing and set the border spacing at zero. Now when I go ahead and look at my design, you're going to see that those empty white spacer lines have disappeared. And again, if I look at this in a browser, you'll see the results there. If you want um, some horizontal, I'm sorry, if you want some vertical dividing lines to divide your column, you can do that as well by using these styles that tie into your column group here. So let's go ahead and apply a white border between each one of these um, each one of these columns. I'm going to go ahead and click in the first one, and I'm going to go ahead and say border right, and it's going to be a three pixel white solid border. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy that style and paste it into my three other styles. And I probably wouldn't want it, wouldn't do that on the uh, yellow column because that's actually the last column. So I'm going to take that out of there. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now when I click over here, you're going to see the dividing lines appear on my columns of information. So that's our quick tutorial on how to use the call group and the call um, elements in HTML to enable you to format different columns with CSS quickly and easily.